Well, welcome to PTR. John, I'm sorry that this is your last official meeting. Um, Got plenty going on. So. Uh, yeah, you do, and we're very, very grateful for everything that you do in the city. Um, any public comment? It doesn't look like anybody's on. We do have a quorum, so we can vote on the minutes. Um, did you get a chance to read the minutes Michelle sent out? Yep. Any questions, concerns? No. The only thing that I would like to add where it talked about bollards, um, I was present in the city council meeting when we were asked, or PTR was asked, would one be removable in case emergency services had to get up there? So I'd just like that to be in our meeting. I know we didn't, or in our minutes, I know we didn't discuss that, but I knew about it and I should have brought it forward okay. to the committee. Um, so with that exception, or that addition, I can get Michelle to put that in. Do I have... Um, a motion to approve the minutes. I make a motion to approve the minutes of April 18th, 2023 with the amended as discussed. Thank you, John. Second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. No public comment. John, we accept your resignation. Nope. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you did I don't. or not, I was done. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Janet and I had a chat. Yeah, we had a talk. I'm still <laughs> sad about it. <laughs> um, you've been an amazing part of the community and PTR. Good input. I'm still, we're still going to keep you in the loop on the dark sky. Yeah, please do. It, it's something I'm. I, as I stated, I, I have. You could still be on the committee, but not on the executive committee, and that that way you don't have to attend the meetings. But then, if there is something with dark sky and you wanted to be involved, you could. Yeah, that's something to think about. It's just where you don't have to come to these, but you're you're still a part of it. You'd still get emails and things like that. Do you want to do that? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Um, Ben's going to give us an update on whether or not the city inspector of new construction is looking at lighting, and he was going to look at the construction standards for that. Um, would you like? A meeting scheduled for Dark Sky once we get this information yeah, from Ben. Yeah, Dark Sky just would be in. Okay. It'll uh, be it will be a slow, gradual thing, but I, I I think it's a worthy cause, and I think. And you want your sky starter? I do want my sky starter. Uh, I I think with education, people will understand. And something that is worth advancing. Did you uh, at least just sit real bad from King Hall and our crosser from the end of the Jordan? They were up. You took them down? Yeah. And I was so happy. I mean, I better you to write him a thank you note. Right. <laughs> no. I was very surprised because Yeah, my neighbor that has a million lights, it's there's only half a million lights now. <laughs> so that's good. It's progress. Yep, little at a time. Yeah, I've got the back that I can really see really, really good in. And facing up Eagle's Nest. The other direction because the lights from Salem and whatnot come up. The kids were up helping me on Mother's Day falling off dead trees and my son-in-law said to me, oh, we ought to clear all this in here and you could have lights facing up to light the trees. And I'm like, yeah, if I could have a switch that would turn them all off at once, maybe, oh, dark sky, I forgot. <laughs> so I would like to move forward with that. That and um, let's see, Janet, have you heard anything more on the basketball? Um, oh, I was looking at our... Oh, I know, I'm sorry, I didn't our put that on here. Thing. Yeah, the charter, do you want to do that first? I don't, yeah, I don't know what that is on there for, to be honest. Well, that had to do with the member thing. Yeah. And I have a copy of, um, we can do that first if you want. But okay. so she sent me the, 
So Jody, um, in city council, I wasn't sure about what Brad was going to do. Um, and I, I didn't want to reach out to him because I didn't, I just thought that eventually because he hasn't been here that he would fall away. Um, but so she sent me the policy policies and procedures for PTR and, um, committee membership. It talks about the committee consists of at least, it says at least five residents. And she thought it was only five at the time. So we were worried about was for the exec for the executive. Yeah. And so she was worried about having too many. So it says that the committee consists of at least five residents appointed by the mayor and ratified by city council. So, um, and then you are supposed to serve a period of two years, then you may be reappointed at the end of the term. Um, and then at least it says at least one city council member assigned um, to the committee. So, and then we're supposed to have a chair and a secretary, which we do. Uh, so that that's all it was. I think she was wanting me to change it, I guess, or if we were going to, but then, and I did, I had reached out to Brad previously, but he texted me and, um, and said he has something now with his daughter and it's on yeah, Tuesday so. nights. So he just won't be able to attend at all. So I gave him pretty much the same option that I gave you. I said, do you want to still be on the committee, but not be where you have to actively attend, but you can still know what's going on. And if you have input or something, and he said, yes. So, so he will be on the same status. Um, but then we presented at city council two new members. Um, so Mike Slater and Bishop Slater, I guess everyone calls him that, but he is on the DNR. Um, he has a lot of opinions about the, he loves the switchbacks and he loves the parks and the wildlife. Um, so I think he'll be, and he has a lot of really good knowledge as far as what the laws are and what's allowed and agreements and things like that. Um, so he'll be a good resource. Um, and then the other member. Dennis Lizenby. Yeah, Dennis Lizenby. And I'm, I don't know what his background is. Do you want to? Yeah, music. And I know he, he did that uh, virtual reality for the temple that BYU unearthed in Mexico. No. Oh. So he's technologically very savvy, I would imagine. Um, good guy. Yeah. Awesome. He'll be involved. Yeah. So they weren't able to come tonight? Is that what? They were invited, but they're not they're official invited. yet. Oh. I mean, they. Well, Dennis, Dennis is, is part committee. of the committee. Yes. Yeah. There, yeah, there, so he can still come. The difference between the committee and, I mean, we're part of the committee, but we're the only ones that and. can vote. So, um, yeah, at the DNR, Mike will be very helpful. I called Janet today about another fire up on the mountain, about 8,000 feet up. There's another fire ring up there. There's one by the bench. Yeah. So question, and this would be good for Mike. Um, Are they allowed to have them? Once you're out of the city property, the rules change. So do they? What? Carrie they said that there's an agreement between the DNR and the city. This is where Mike would be a very valuable asset yep. on this. Well, yep. I asked the hot shots about it today. They're not going to know. They, they, don't know. They, don't know. they don't know. They don't know. But Carrie said, so it would be interesting to ask Mike if he knows. <laughs> Would it be good for you to, as a committee, get your hands on that agreement? I've asked Carrie for it. Yeah. And that way you can see what it says and then you, whatever's there, you can work with it. Because it had to do, uh, maybe I can get it myself. It had to do with the easement for the geofence and maintenance I, on the trail. I would guess if you're on National Forest Service land, it's seasonal. If you could light a fire in the winter, if you're Camping or, or whatever. Well, as long as there's a no, not a no burn in the area. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but, but then, yeah, when it's a high, you know, fire dangers high or whatever, then, then they don't allow fires. But my so other half, I don't want any fires up there. Right. No kidding. <laughs> right. Ever. Yeah. Right. But I, but, I, I am also aware maybe, of the other situation. But maybe people can camp up there. He they, seemed to think, think that can. there was, and so, but I think that was like in general, because we, I kind of talked to him about that. He seemed to think that you could, Have but I would love to camp. see if there is an agreement and, and read it, you know, and find out. Well, I'll see if I can get it off. What you've got up there is you've got, um, 
got DNR, which is state stuff, and then you got Forest Service, which is federal. And then it, you know, the further up you go, the more you. The federal's all the way at the top, isn't it? It's up there somewhere. I've hiked up there with on, on mitigation fire stuff a few years ago. I I don't know where the feds and the state line is. I know where the DNR line is. Um, but at some point, you cross one and enter the other if you go high enough. I think I remember looking at the map. But there's not a sign. Well, there is for DNR. Right. DNR yes. has a little sign. Yeah, there's that, that sign. But, I'm trying to think of who but you was. don't reach like the wilderness line if you go off the ridge or something. Right. Well, it was Mark, kind of just have Mark to know, Farmer right? that yeah. put that yeah. sign up. There's a Utah County app you can download and with GPS. It'll tell you where you are, where you're standing. It'll tell you who owns the land. So, but most people are going to pull that up. Oh, we can do it. we can light a fire here now. Well, that's the thing as far as hunting. Same thing. Janet was telling me she heard a lot of shots on Sunday. Sunday night, there was a lot of gunshots up there. There's there's the youth turkey hunt going on. It was like pew 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 pew. Yeah. It looked, sounded like turkey started, it started to well, that would ago. make sense. Start exactly even ended the because over where I by a couple weeks ago before I went, left town it was a. Uh, I've seen a lot of fourteen-year-old kids in camel, and it, that makes me a little nervous when I'm home. <laughs> yeah. Well, your your primary gun for a turkey hunts a twenty-two. So twenty-two like or a. Sound was your primary. Yeah. Gun. So. Not a shotgun. No, because they just they the fill it full of fuck your fuck shot, shot right pending. Turkeys are a very difficult animal to hunt. They are extreme. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, no, that's the problem. Is turkeys are very intelligent. Right. This is why Benjamin Franklin pitched having the turkey be our our national bird. Um, but they they will know where their safe zones are and everything. That's why they don't care about us in our city because they just troll know, out in front of the car. Yeah, I troll my brother because he's a big turkey hunter, and I send him pictures of you know thirty birds in my backyard, and he just gets mad. It's fun. I Ooh, I love it. But yeah, that's what you're probably hearing. But it's so also it's the youth turkey. You can shoot way up there, and it'll sound like it's in your yeah. backyard here. Well, way up there behind you is Summit Creek's property. That goes way up there. Well, I'm saying you could be shooting on the ridge. Oh, yeah. And it just because reverberates it down, and you, yeah. you'll never know where it's from. So yeah. we had, you know, one of the, the people on Sky Lakes thought they had heard shots in their backyard, right? The probability states that there's nobody in their backyard. It was coming it's down just, the canyon. Yeah. But a 22 yeah. wouldn't make that much. Mm -hmm. well, it's, it's got enough range. A, tack, a takedown? We have a 22. A Ruger takedown? Yeah. Yeah. Especially if they're firing it. Things that go up, quiet. Uh, up against the mountain, I, I can hear my neighbors talk. Yeah, there's a saying in Woodland Hills. Yep. You can run around naked, but be careful because your neighbors will hear everything you say. Yep. <laughs> it's you true. can run around naked, nobody will see you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was wondering where the rest of that watch. saying was. <laughs> <laughs> but, but be careful because they can hear everything you say. Yep. Maybe yeah, we need to write a mountain public mountain nudity mountain. ordinance for <laughs> Janet. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> I know sometimes I'm talking too loud out my brain. I need to talk quieter because I can hear everything. I think everybody in the town knows when I'm mad. <laughs> I do. I can't hear her, but I know <laughs> I get well, a text. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. that's if it's a city thing. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, that's good. Thanks on the charter. And I will look on the county records to get a copy of the easement that we have in okay. the city. That'd be good to find out. Because maybe um, we're worrying about something that we can't worry about. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Legally. But just the fires, I, I don't know if they're allowed up there. And that's what we'll need to find out. Did we table number four? That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> no. Did we push it indefinitely? I, I, I said no. Perfect. Oh, we voted, right? Let's vote. <laughs> I, I, I make a motion <laughs> to decline. I, to I, decline I asked John Wallace's to stay really on, but not on the executive, just to stay on the inact kind you're gonna, of act. You're going to stay on the... Oh, sky as it evolves. Okay, well, I don't know what the evolution will be, but we'll find out. Well, there's a woman in the city. Her name's Judy Pickle. Pickle? Pickle? Uh-huh. Pickle. Okay. Oh, 
Uh -huh. Pick out. That's funny. Um, she's really, she's really, she's really smart. Other cities get dark sky recognition. Has she taken them from? I don't know. Infancy. Yeah. Right. Like for me, that's the easy way. Right. This is a like in St. George, they have a number of dark side communities because the HOA controls the dark side side of, side of it, and they plan the community from Around the beginning. That. Right. Yeah. Well, and I say our current building requirement meets most of the requirement. We just have never enforced it. Well, the no right. street lights for one. I mean, that's huge. That's big. Yeah. Salem makes up for that. No, I have neighbors that make up for no street lights <laughs> in the rest of the city. <laughs> so I looked through, um, and I asked Jody to just change the verbiage on on number okay. five there. Um, so she, Jody's not going rogue. <laughs> Um, but basically, I went through the building or, or the building packet, and it is now an updated or different version than when I built, and so it does not contain any lighting ordinance be, or lighting specifications because they are in the ordinances like which we've written read here multiple times, right? So that's where the specifications are. That's where it articulates lumens and directions and all of that. Um, so, so our current new temporary code enforcement officer can have this, huh? <laughs> well, I spoke with our current new temporary code enforcement or yesterday, and his thought was, "He's not in favor of dogs." It is low on the list I know it is. of violations yeah, that need to be dealt with. The mayor feels the same. I think. I, I understand. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yep. There's a lot of pots boiling. Those guys. It's not, and I think. Can we get it in the construction standard so that somebody, so that who's ever inspecting to pass the house off? And, well, here's and where it also have... gets tricky, right? Is I learned this also yesterday. So, sunrise is our inspection, mm -hmm. but they only inspect residential building code items, they do not inspect city ordinance that's why when driveways are inspected one of our team does that it in sunrise does not do driveway slopes because that's a, not a residential building code that's in a city right. ordinance um and so it would need to be on the individual that is doing those types of inspections right so uh, that's where the enforcement part would come from but well what we need to do yeah, it it does need to be in the packet. It just, I think personally, it needs to be in the packet of, because in the packet, it's broken down into a bunch of bullet points, right? Yeah. On number three or four, it's the list of inspections. Right. It just needs to be added there and we're, we're good. So it doesn't need to be articulated out, just like the driveway slope isn't articulated out. It just says driveway slope, look for, look at ordinance, da, 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 da. Okay. So we just need to put in there inspection of lighting. Ordinance one, two, three. Okay, how do we do yeah. that? So that will just be a resolution that needs to go through council when we revise that packet. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna be on there the next but, city council for the executive committee members, right? Yes, we have to vote. Can we add that one to the list? We can't. We'll, if you can coordinate with Wayne. That'll need to come through planning commission. We won't be able to impact unless we want to pick a fight with planning commission, which I would yeah, not we can't advise. Yeah, over them and make them okay. mad. Our, our jurisdiction just... I know. And, and I'm looking at you. <laughs> and, <laughs> you can give that to John. and you can, If you can get that added, that'd be fabulous. We're meeting tomorrow night. I know you are. Yeah, that's, I think, that's can where we need to have it. you bring it up as other business? Yeah, I can bring it up. Send me, I know you have all this at your fingertips or close to it. Will you send me the ordinance yep. references so that I can put that in there? Well, I'll we're not see. trying to change the ordinance. No, I, I just want right to plug that down and say, this is already in our ordinance. Is there a way we can just it add it to the inspection list? Yeah. That's it. It's part of that educational thing that I feel like is what we need to start. With. Okay. So if you send that to me, I will bring it up tomorrow night and have... Actually, I won't be here tomorrow. I'll, 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 I'll get it brought up. Okay. 
Okay. I'll get you the ordinance. Um, Don't forget I tomorrow would, night. <laughs> well, as we meet as Dark Sky Subcommittee, we can then look at how many lumens per acre, that kind of thing is not in the ordinance, and make a proposal to PTR, who then in turn yeah. take it to the city council. Is that the right way? Uh, it would go to Wayne first. We tried that. <laughs> uh, well, that is that is going to be the roadblock that we're going to have. Okay. Be it's the, just the, like the trails ordinance yeah, the thing, that went through uh, Wayne. The direction of the lighting and how it can be is pretty much black and white. The lumens, that's a, a new thing we're going to have to address. Okay. But the current stuff that's there, it just says that the lights need to be this, this, and this. So we'll get yeah. planning to take a look at the construction packet. Or the con it's not construction standard, is it? Uh, it will be ordinance. Well, the, it's, the, it's the builder's packet. So it's... I don't know its exact title, but Wayne will know. Everybody will know. If you say Builders okay. Packet. And then we'll yeah, meet as packet. Dark Sky. Um, any proposal on when would be good for Dark Sky to meet or not meet? Probably got to have something to meet about first. I would wait. Yep. Well, I want to see what Judy. Oh, yeah. You mean hear from Wayne first? Yeah. I'd love to know what is the appetite here, for it. What's that? I'd love to know what's the appetite for it, right? I don't want to be the committee that decides we have a good idea and ramrods it down the rest of the residents' no. throat. Yeah, so I'd love to know, is there a way we can gain, you know, what is the appetite in the city? What if you could do, like, a simple survey on the page? Well, it's not even that. I sent, I sent it to Sharon. I should have sent it to everybody this a few months ago. There was a big research article that came out. And it talked about the nocturnal impact of lighting to wildlife. And it's huge in a negative way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And with the wildlife we have here that's in excess, we are doing huge amounts of damage to them because of the lighting that we have. It's just, it messes them up. They, and they, the deer haters wouldn't be so sad about that. It's not just deer, though. It's every critter that's out there. Yep. Yeah, I know. Every critter that's, that's here is by nature nocturnal. That's how they survive. I mean, that's predator, that's prey, that's everything. And that's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people made it work. Yeah, and so we, we, we mess with them as they move about because of the light. And so. Well, and if we're protecting them by not totally fencing off our property, then so we they can also move. be nice to them in this other regard. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if people can have lights, just don't leave them on 24 7. Yeah, and dim them down a little. Yeah, let, let the animals what, what would be our authority to enforce no. already built property? You know what I mean? Well, the there city, is money available through Yeah, there's IGS. some grant stuff you can get. You, you've got to sell people on it first, like Ben's saying, get some traction. And again, I, I think you've got to start working with the stuff moving forward first before sure. you start going back. So I'm not, I'm not even looking at going backward in any way, shape, or form until we can start moving the right, forward right stuff. Now. Then once we get some momentum there, then we can start looking, okay, what can we do to help out this other thing? And I think summer creeks. Yours is more restrictive than the city's. Yeah, we are. Because you have an HOA, that's I why. Because yeah. didn't you find that it's usually HOAs that manage the dark sky? Well, uh, yeah. I didn't, I'm, that's an assumption. Um, on my part. Eagle Mountain City manages it. Yeah. There might I, be HOAs, but the, the, when I, towards the end of my building time when I was out there, they, they created a lighting packet. It was part of the builder's packet. It was very specific. Um, it said how many lumens, et cetera, et cetera, what you could have, all that. And then at our final inspections, we had to provide that. So whatever our outside lights are, were, if they were can lights or carriage lights, we had to have that data there at the inspection uh, before the inspector would sign off for a CFO. Yeah. That was city enforcing that. So I'm not saying that's how it has to be here, but they are they're one of the busiest cities in the state, have been for 20 years, and the city is the one doing it. Well, I think it's that's where good. HOA restrictions exceed the city's 
they're followed by the HOA. Yeah. But if the HOA is less than the city, we follow the cities. Whoever's a stricter. Yeah. yeah. Well, well we HOAs will always be stricter. Yeah. They can't go less strict than the city. Uh, HOAs are my life every day. I hate them. <laughs> um, we could go back to what we initially presented to Wayne for the ordinance when he said it was so long and had all the pictures and diagrams of the lighting for the construction project. We could hone it yeah, down not, a little I'm bit. I'm not going to give him anything okay. too much as much as I just want to test him again. Okay. Um, well, I think though people I, I, too should know, the citizens should know that retroactive, which is not the primary purpose that we're going after, um, that there is money available. I mean, people think, oh, I'm gonna have to spend all this money to change my lights and- Yeah, there is, is if a grant could be procured. The, but that's the, low the existing the homes are grandfathered in and people have property right. rights and you can't yeah. infringe on those. So what you do is you incentivize. You say, yeah. if you want to participate in this, there are these funds available. And the people yeah. that choose it's their to choice. Yeah. With minimal or no cost. But still, the lighting ordinance should be enforced. And I know it's not high on the totem pole here as yeah. far as 1030 and disturbing the peace. That's disturbing the peace also includes a person's general welfare. And anyway, there's different ways that we can approach this. Like it's complicated because yeah. you're not going to call a code enforcement out at 10 30 not to do anything so then well, it becomes yeah. a law enforcement issue and well, it won't be a law enforcement they we, can't they can't do anything because well, it's not a case. civil they do the they disturbing the they, they yeah quiet. i'll tell you right now none of them are going to do anything unless the mayor says please yeah and if the you know and that's the one thing we just got to remember too is Ordinance enforcement is is one hundred percent discretionary, right? So, it's not mandated. The mayor owns all enforcement obligation in the city. If he decides, I don't want to enforce any ordinances, he doesn't have to, right? And the and, idea of the ordinance is, is to make everybody be a good citizen. It's to say, please look at these rules and know that you can only have, you know, so much fencing and you can only have so many animals and you can only have, and right. these are our quiet hours. It's the idea is that the rules are there and the citizens voluntarily follow them. So well, they're to keep us happy issue. and keep us safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like. it's to keep I order. Mean, yeah. I mean, somebody might have 10 dogs, but I had a, I had a black lab. The cat alerted me to it. And I wasn't sure if it was a bear at first, because all I saw was this black <laughs> going up where I've been pulling down stuff, and then I realized it was a dog. Um, okay. All right. I think I know which way we're going and what we need to do on the dark sky. Ben, thanks for the update on the zoo. I don't know if it was very helpful, but you were no, welcome. No, it was. Because <laughs> I, I kept, we kept hearing, it's in the packet, it's in the packet. That was probably from me. I haven't seen it in a while. I'll, I'll chase Jody for that. Okay. She may take me a day or two. I've got to talk to her about some other stuff. All right. Um, Janet, can I just ask, I know it's not on the agenda, uh, about the basketball. Are we? He, I've driven by their house and I haven't seen any sign of anybody right. around. They're not around much. No. So. They like it down south better. We've been spending more and more time down south. Well, it's going to get real hot here pretty soon, so maybe they'll be back. <laughs> um, I I used to have his number because he actually built our last house, but I think I have it. Um, I don't have it I anymore. Don't I don't see. My me. husband has it. They're good friends, so I just need to ask my husband. For yeah. it. Oh, look, I do still because have if it. we wanted to He's do it there. with uh, in conjunction, not in conjunction, but as having an activity for. Woodland Hills days? Well, it and would actually help me with that. a problem because I booked a, I booked a band for Woodland Hills days and they want a surface to set up all of their equipment on. Okay. And they're asking me to provide like nine sheets of plywood and I don't really want to do that. 
I mean, I'd have to go buy Corbin it personally. Has, no, Corbin has a whole bunch of plywood. I have some too. Okay. It's three quarter inch plywood that he bought to build this thing there. That's kind of on hold now because of what he wants to do here. And it is a stack of three quarter inch. <laughs> so plywood. I could steal it's some. Well, that's good to know. But I thought oh, I, yeah, I just the... I thought it would be nice there. if we had yeah, the we could just set the band up on the. Yeah, and I actually I talked to my husband. One of the things I guess part of Woodland Hills days is they used to do. Yeah, I I will. Um, one of the things that Woodland I have a trailer. One of the things Woodland Hills days used to have was a three on three tournament, and I really think that would be kind of fun. To bring it back. We used to do it on the street, and people would wheel up their hoops. I love it. That's awesome. It's like out in front of a park. There's no boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maple Fest made it work. We can play in the street too. Yeah, but if we had a court, we could. Yeah, we could do. You know, still. So can we put that in our in PTR's frame of reference that we'd like that completed by if we can. Woodland Hills days. Only if you can get them. I gotta get people. I have like a. I have three idea. Idea of three people that I can get donations from. But okay, I have to talk to the first one because he's the the. Pinch pin. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for that update. Um, I just have to call him. I've been trying to drive by and just hoping he'd be out I hardly, and I could be I, like, I, I hardly hey. Even see the church once in really? Yeah. Okay. My, my the concern um, with the campfire or camp ring, fire pit, whatever at the top of the trail by the bench, it isn't just there. Like we said, there's one further up. So I was told today by. You said Mark somebody. Mark somebody, I think lives on Sky Lake. He was with his friend from New York, and he had his black lab on a leash. So Mother. respect for that. Yeah. And he said that he'd been up further, about eight thousand feet, and he saw another ring. Sky Lake. I think it was Sky Lake. I was going to look on the map, but I didn't have time. So there's a concern up there, and we can find this out from. Uh, do you know, mistakes? Yeah, because their rules apply to their land. We can't do anything. About I know. It. Well, I'm not going there. I'm, saying, I'm not saying I agree with that. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I. There's something that they don't want on their land. Anyway. Uh. The bollards. Um, I, we approved. We had to sign off on that. That's why you did. And I did it a couple days ago. On money. Yes. Oh, sweet. I signed. I Ben was working, so I called him and I read it to him and I said, "Are you good with this?" And he said, "Yes." So then I emailed Chris Helvey and said, "We approve." Okay. Good to know. So re reach out to Chris again, but we approved it. I um, called him yesterday. Do you want? Left do you want to read it over? I have it. Do you want? Let me see. Do you want to look? Do you want to go over it? Sure. I don't care. We don't have to, but it's the bollards and the benches that I need money. I for. wish I knew how to put it up on the screen, but I'm not that good. Sorry. Just like this. <laughs> go. <laughs> sure. That's how Tony does it. Anyway, so let's see. It, it just closed on me, of course. I, I kind of hate our email, our city council email and how stuff opens, at least on my computer. I don't love it. Um, so it says that um, I, it was mostly looking at the spending, but uh, it has the cash spending. It said um, 2500 is the cash amount, and then we have to match, right? 1250 and then, um, so the twelve fifty that we're matching would be uh, labor mostly, and it says labor and materials. Well, that was more like cement, um, whatever we need to put the bench. Oh, together. that's the in kind of the city. Yeah. yeah. So some of it is. So we have to match twenty five hundred, but half of that twenty five hundred can be labor, yes. and then the other half has to actually be materials. So. Um, but then what it's going to be spent on is the benches are, um, there's three benches, 
They're four ninety eight eighty five each for a total of fourteen ninety six fifty five. The bolliards uh, would be about seven hundred and seven oh six, and then the signage about four hundred, and then um, and then the berms and the H two R H two O bars about eleven hundred eleven forty six. So what's the total? So five that grand. Yeah, it'll be five grand, and then labor and machinery, and that's just like the city donating would be the twelve fifty, the in kind. So when you add all of that up, so the the berms and the H two O bars would be the city's part of the cash donation. Yeah, I was trying to work it that way so that we would get more cash from uh, the grant. Yeah, and Chris had said that there's money in it, in. Because yeah, he, he said something about twelve hundred or well, there's money in PTRs that we haven't used in PTRs money that we haven't used, and of that twenty grand that's in the line for PTR, how much of it is for chipper days, and it's not really PTR. Do we know? I don't know. Yeah, I think we get like six cents or something. <laughs> the, the dollars get moved around so much that we have a hard time keeping. I mean, we open the budget when we change them, but we're just trying to get the budget approved right now, and so money is okay. getting moved around. Well, so, and yeah. yeah, and there's not enough money ever. So, no, um, how do I go, or how do we go about this? I've researched where I would like PTR to get these from, or the city to get these from. Do I have to submit a purchase order or a quote or? You could probably can just send links to Chris and he can buy them for us. So Chris or Jody and I'll buy them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe I have to touch it so I don't have to just give you information. Yeah, okay. that'd be the cleanest. For fire, we usually just give it to Jody. Okay. Because I did talk to Jody about it. Uh, okay. So what, mm, depending upon when I can get these, when we can get these, um the bollards and the benches and who knows if stuff's on back order hoping it's not um i'll let the committee know and then we can choose dates to put them in so once you physically have it then, yeah then why would schedule it to two physical yeah once we have all of it then we can just okay. pick a saturday morning and go get her done right how much uh time was involved in putting jeff's bench together uh, we did it all up on the hill. You did? You put it together yeah. up there? I thought and in the yeah. you did? Yeah, because it was, just it was too, too big to, for me to put it together. And put it on the back of a four-wheeler. And put it on the back of a four-wheeler and drag it up there. You so did I did. put it together up there? Yeah. It's just two pieces. So I tested everything. I test fit everything in my garage okay. and then took it all apart and then took the tools that I used to put it together and drug okay. it up to the top and... That was smart to not get to the top and not have the tool. The yeah, exact thing. the one tool. It's like forgetting the crank to pop up the camper. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then. So there's not that much time involved. In that. I'm sorry, I don't remember that we did that. Oh, no, that was. That was uh, so fresh. Yeah, we had Jamin there to dig the holes. So he's a one man wrecking crew. It's great. He just. <laughs> hole. Okay, perfect. Um, I don't know if anybody's been up on the trail lately. Um, I went up to look for water coming down, but I only went as far as the cave recently. The last time I was up, I'm going up tomorrow with Activity Day girls. I don't know how far I'm going to get. <laughs> you might get to the cave. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> with the girls, I'm tired. Um, tell, them, tell them there's sugar at the top. But what I thought I'd do is, as far as we do get, I'm just going to take video going along because I know there's trees down. Should we worry about the grant has to be completed in, I think it's six months. We can get extensions for high altitude. We could send our wildlife crew up there and they have something to do. If there's trees down. Yeah. yeah I'll think talk to the chief. <laughs> well, we'll talk to, yeah. I could send a text. Okay. Um, so do, do we want to hike it as a committee just to, when your toe is better? <laughs> <laughs> My toe's not broken. Is it currently broken? Mm -hmm. I thought it was broken. 
Not a lot, but. <laughs> no, we need bubble wrap. Got bubble wrap anyway. You know, it, I don't, I don't know why I do this to myself, but look. Her foot was feeling jealous of her hand. <laughs> I dropped a glass on. That's it. not even the outside one. You're fine. <laughs> In the middle. I know. It's, it's kind of on both sides. It's fine. It's the back, it's the big toe that you want to make sure you don't break. So, would we do this like on a Saturday morning or a nighttime? It's um, for people that are working and. Yeah, I think we just schedule it and we'll get who we get. Okay. When do you want to, when do you want to go? Yeah, where, where, where's it going? Where's it going? You, you guys might want to just figure that out. I don't know if I'll have time. I'm so busy right now. I, I'm i not sure what my, my days hold these days. So. I'm happy to go up with you, Natalie, if you want to go. Sure. Janet, if you're... I can go if better. I have a few more days. Okay. Um, so we'll just Surprise work at like a time. to a shoes are what hurt me the most. Because you're doing this. Like tennis shoes even. So that's what these, like, when I get to work, I slide them off, right? Get some barefoot shoes on you for the roll and let your feet stay out. Oh no, uh-uh. Those are weird looking. They're no. I hate when I pass somebody on a job wearing those. I'm them. like, she weirdo. just got a regular shoe. <laughs> yeah, the that. snow is still up uh, where the avalanche is, but surprisingly it's melting. Just so you know, Spanish Fork River today was to the top of it almost went over the freeway. Can you imagine what really? Colorado is now? And so they had I drove past the Colorado and they had heavy equipment. They were dredging it out the today. Where? Wow. I-15? Like uh-huh. Cool. Yeah, where it goes under. There's a video of it. I-15? And where? Spanish Fork I-15. River. That's cool. It was just oh, about yeah, to yeah. go over today. They, 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 they've been pulling debris out of that like crazy. They had, they were dredging it today. Thistle, is that still closed? Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. We've been so blessed. Yeah, yeah Thistle is still closed. There was a video of it, but I can't find it now because, you know, that's how it goes, right? Well, they'd be a good person to contact if we ever have to clean up the retention pond across from Otley's. I mean, they obviously know how to do it. Whoever in Spanish Fork is digging the thing out. Yeah, we'll just use that big old tracker when <laughs> done. <laughs> um, crews are dredging the Spanish Fork River near the bridge with I-15, the bridge being monitored 24-7 for any debris that could get trapped. Mm. So there's a, there it is. But it's about to go over the... Really? Uh-huh. They'll show like the freeway in a minute. It'll probably be on the news tonight at 10. Wow. And they're digging it out. Oh, yeah. It's hitting the edge. Yeah, it's hitting right at the yeah, edge of the freeway. Much, there's not much more room no. left. So that there's. It's crazy. Do you need water, Ben? Yeah. I'm you down. I, my left eye is all Well, fine. does anybody have any other business to bring up? Nothing from me. Janet, you have anything else? No. Hey, I don't have anything else, Natalie. No, just just get with me. I'll be gone all next week, but I'm okay. If I don't run away, I could maybe go with you on Saturday up the switchbacks, but I might run to my cabin on Friday. Okay. I would really recommend maybe driving your Jeep instead. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she wants to break in the toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's rental season and my, uh, anyway, I have a notebook of all the things that they're supposed to do and it's sitting in my office at home <laughs> and it needs updated. So I need to hurry and get it fixed and I need to take some supplies and drive up there. I also probably need a minute away by myself. So I don't kill anybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be a fun scandal. Uh, so the next meeting will be the one, two, three, the twentieth of June. June twentieth. Yep. 
Mm. Is that the third one? One, two, three, yeah. Well, let me look. Well, you're in luck. Yep. I'm just kind of keeping my schedule open. I've got a grandson that's going to be endowed sometime in June for his mission. Um, but I don't know when yet. In Denver. Cool. Yep. I'm so excited. So we don't have any other business other than John again. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I, wish sure. I, I wish I could stay. I just got to. No, you're. We you need you. We yourself. need you where you're going to be. And we have it's my, my higher priority. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yep. You're not, sure. you're not leaving me in the winter, are you? Oh, no. He's just going to be more involved in the fire department. Did we get the new truck? It's they're picking it up next month. I yeah. saw a shiny red fire and rescue truck go up to the water tank today. I thought that was our new truck. County does probably. Yeah. No, yeah. Our truck. We're, we're getting updated pictures. Um, You guys can all help us out here because it's going to show up right this as we uh, raise taxes. If you can help everybody understand that this sucker was bought by a long time ago. Yeah, it, was. It, like two years ago? It, it was a year ago, November, the order was placed. That's how long it takes. They're now wow. three, three years out. Are you kidding? Yeah, they built it. Picked all the parts and so I went down last November, last October for the pre-construction meeting on a on a fire engine. That was a hell. We went through 400, 419 line items. But now just to make sure it's still yes, no, yes, no, tweak a few things. And then they started so then they order everything in because of supply chain problems, see? <laughs> so that's why we had to go in October so they could get everything ordered in so that when the chassis showed up here about the um, they have everything there, and they can finish it from A to Z. Oh. So. Well, I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ben's aye. <laughs> so, yeah, FYI for you guys, for everybody, I'll go shut this off, and then I can just give you some more information. <laughs>